New video shows the moments an ambulance came under artillery fire on a key highway in Gaza. The crew, members of the Palestinian Red Crescent Society in the back, anxiously looking out the window as people flee the scene. The Palestinian Humanitarian Agency blaming Israel for the attack, saying one paramedic was injured. ABC News has not independently confirmed who was responsible, but Israeli Defense Forces have warned the area would become extremely dangerous as they expand their ground operation. You can see injured civilians arriving at a hospital in Gaza, this man on a mattress taken inside. The IDF dropping leaflets telling people to evacuate immediately to safe zones marked on a map published online. There is no safe area here in Gaza. Now uh, we either stay in our, our house and die of hungry or go out and die by indiscriminate bombing. People seen heading toward Egypt, donkey carts overloaded with bags and mattresses, kids with school bags. Meanwhile, more than 100 hostages are still being held in Gaza after the October 7th attacks by Hamas in Israel. Israeli police say they've received hundreds of reports from first responders and eyewitnesses of rape and sex crimes committed by Hamas, which have been collected in a report distributed by the IDF, who said virtually all of the victims of that sexual violence were murdered on October 7th. Hamas denies these claims without providing any evidence. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.